All right, and what is your job description? So I work for the University of Montevallo in two different capacities. I work as the Senior Admissions Counselor in the Office of Undergraduate Admissions, and I also work as the Spirit Coordinator coaching the cheerleading and dance teams. As you know, we are working through a pandemic. How has that affected you and your workspace? I think it's affected me in a couple of different ways, but one is just in the way that I plan. I feel like the schedule is always up in the air. Um, even when I do have something planned, I feel like it could change or maybe even not get approved because of either CDC, uh, the university, or varsity guidelines. So um, just having to learn to be even more flexible than I feel like we already are. Um, is one way. And then in the other, when you talk about the space in our practice space, you just have to be more mindful of the guidelines, social distancing, um, so making sure that we stay six feet apart, making sure um, the students, what they bring into practice, whatever that may be, stay six feet apart, um, sanitizing any shared equipment, um, including our mats. Right, and what would you say would be the most difficult thing for you and your athletes as you practice in this pandemic? I think the most difficult thing is just being mindful of health and safety, but also trying to maintain and grow relationships within the teams. Mm -hmm. uh, it is very hard on them. I think we are social beings. I think we're meant to be social beings. And so it can be really difficult to connect with people from six feet of distance away. And I think the team has a hard time with that because they may, they may want to hang out after practice or go to dinner together or even, you know, collectively do a bonding activity. And right now, a lot of those things just can't happen and so I would say that is the hardest part of all of this. Great. And how is it that these athletes are protecting themselves as they train, as they do any type of um, physical activities? One way is by staying six feet apart. I think uh, most of the guidelines will say that that helps more than anything. But we also wear masks throughout practice. Um, and with everything being sanitized, um, that really helps. And so I think just keeping all of those things that we all know um, and you know are so prevalent in our world now at the forefront of their minds. Great, and how long do you think this pandemic is gonna last? I think that's the million dollar question. Um, I have no idea. Uh, I just try to stay focused on positivity, uh, hope moving toward the future. We plan to compete at UCA UDA Nationals in January in Orlando, Florida. Um, and so just continuing to be better every day. I tell um, the teams who are doing this, everything that we do this year is for ourselves, whether or not we get to compete or we get to you know, be in front of a crowd, whatever it is, it's for us and everything else is the cherry on top. Awesome. <laughs> Is there any extra or additional things that you'd like to add that we might have missed? Um, I, I think the biggest thing is just, like I said, positivity, um, keeping our safety at the forefront of our minds at all times, but also making um, everyday fun. I think it's given us a renewed sense of purpose, excitability, um, I think just really using that momentum to our benefit, no matter what it is. Awesome. Well, that concludes our interview. Thank you for taking the time out to have this interview with me. And I wish you a great rest of the day. Awesome. Thank you.